get you black. All right, come on, one way. Hurry up. You gonna come get your tail. You gonna come get your tail. Don't know if you guys can hear all of the uh, Anthony. Thank you for the rose. First gift, Marie, for the hand hearts. Everybody, you guys are so awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You guys are incredible. So what's up, DB monkeys in the house? You guys, I don't know if I can catch the sky. It's hard. Like you can see kind of the clouds starting to build back here. Uh, we're getting ready for some big storms coming in. See, now look at that. You can see it. Oh, look at the seal. Love it. Um, so we're getting ready for some crazy storms to blow in. Of course, you can see the trees blowing and everything. Uh, uh, so we knew the timing was crucial. Get the dogs out to go to the bathroom, get the monkeys in, get them bathed and inside. Uh, big ass and inside, crushing goals. We've got big, big storms rolling in here in the next little bit. So maybe while we're on, uh, Maybe while we're on live, some of those will fire up. So I know some passed right around us earlier today. Uh, and I, like, I was sitting on the couch and I just hear this like crazy loud thunder. And I was like, oh crap. And I look out the window. Of course, it hadn't quite gotten there yet uh, where we needed. Oh, look at this. There's a good afternoon. I knew there was a good evening. That's crazy. We'll put that up. Setting new goals here. Good afternoon. All right, Mr. Winston. It's bath time, buddy. Okay, so that means hold on, you got to get down in here. We gotta, we're getting a bath. Okay, I know you're like, we seriously, seriously, but I want you to smell good. Okay, I want you to be clean and smell good. Okay, can we do that together? Huh? Can we do that together? And then you go in there because I, I washed your hammocks. I know, I washed your hammocks and we swept today. You're not looking at him, he's kind of hanging out, guys. He's such a cutie. Um, so, yeah. We're gonna get you, look at that, hit hard. Thank you so much, good afternoon. Yeah, there's no morning coffees when I go live at three in the afternoon. Although I would drink a coffee at three in the afternoon, no problem. Uh, I could do coffee 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So, let me get your feet good, okay? You know we're gonna have to do Liana's like a manicure pedicure, cause she's gonna be a dirty mess. She is always a dirty mess. Ooh, hold still. Oh, thank you so much, Bubba. Can I get your face? Can I wipe that face down? Hmm? Can I wipe that face down? Okay. Let me get your tail. I make sure everything gets gets wet so we can soap it up. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, ready? And get you all soaped up. Get your butt, get your tail. Oh yeah, just stand up so I can rub your belly. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Woo -wee. See, no hangy downies. Boys don't have hangy downies. So the girls have the hangy downies, not the boys. So it gets really kind of disconcerting when you're trying to figure out what's what, and if you've never been around them, uh, they do very often. All right, sit down. Thank you. Let me get those hands, okay? Oh, you're gonna get the water with your foot? You're gonna get the water with your foot? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Silly? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> you are something else, Bubba. You ain't something else. You would. You would do something else. You get this other arm and then we're good. We can rinse off. Well, you're in a play full mood, I can tell. We're gonna have fun and play time today. Just get ready, guys. Oh, thank you for the turkey, Tina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I see that, guys. If I miss a comment or a question, obviously, while I'm doing baths, I missed one of the good afternoons, so whoever gave that second one, thank you so much, or the first one, I'm not sure. Um, but thank you guys so much. Totally appreciate it. Thank you for the finger hearts, Ms. Liz. So, love it, love it, love it. You guys are an incredible community. Look at this, there's 1,800 people in here. Guys, if you will click or tap that screen, like tap like crazy, right? Uh, tap that screen like crazy, you do not need one, trust me. This is a 50 to 60 year commitment that'll cost you a million dollars in their lifetime. You give up vacations, date nights, everything. It's a forever toddler. Tina, thank you for the flames and the heart. Oh, you gonna get it? Get that water. I know, get it, talk about it. Get it. Get it, Win-Win. 
<laughs> yeah, Bubba. Has he ever bit me? Yes. Monkeys bite. They absolutely bite. It's a nonverbal form of communication. So thank you for the hand hearts. Crazy Ferret, thank you for the heart. And Laura Sellers for the finger heart. Get it, win-win. Get that water, win-win. Angie, thank you for the balloons. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh. What type of soap do you use? We use um, the uh, Shea Moisture. See, right there. Shea Moisture Baby Shampoo. So. I know, people always want to know about getting a monkey, but I'm telling you, you don't, you don't want it. What are you doing, Win-Win? What are you doing, Win-Win? What's up, New Zealand in the house? Love it. Thank you for the heart so much. Thank you so much. What does it cost? Well, the monkey will cost you fifteen dollars to $20,000. It's the lifetime of care that will cost you about a million dollars for the monkey. It's the 50 to 60 years of giving up vacations and date nights and uh, all sorts of things. So... Aloha from Hawaii. Mahalo for watching. Thank you so much. What are you doing? Are you drinking it? <laughs> you are something else, Win. You are something else, Win. What are you doing? Are you having fun? Hey, you know what? We got to hurry up because the sky's getting darker and I got to get you dried off and put away. And then, and then I got to go get Lily. Yeah. Then I gotta go get Lily. But hey, your little playtime, you kinda jerk dry. You're kinda dry back here. This one thing that I love about their, their coat is uh, they don't have a lot of oil and it doesn't have a thick undercoat, right? So uh, they dry very, very quickly, very easily. Uh, but I'll show you guys something here. Just a second, let me get him dried up. Ooh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I do, I love you. <laughs> You are in a playful mood. <laughs> you are. What are you gonna do, no, no, shake me? What are you gonna do, no, no, shake me? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, mister? What are you gonna do, mister? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you're gonna get my hat? <laughs> oh, oh. oh, I love you so much, you silly. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love you so much, you silly monkey. Let me get those feet, okay? Let me get those feet. Let me make sure you're all dry, okay? Get those legs and those feet. Look at how blonde he's getting back here. Jamie, do you see that? You see how, like, being out there in the sun, how blonde he's getting back here? Look at this. Look at all that. Winston didn't have that on him before. All that sunshine and being outside, his absolute gorgeous blonde hair is coming in in the back, and I'm so impressed. Like, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Wait, wait. Win win! Win win! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> you heard a playful mood. <laughs> you are something else, buddy. Oh, we knocked it over. Oh no, we knocked it over. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I love you, Bubbies. I do, I love it. Uh-oh, we turned the dishwasher on. I just emptied it, there's nothing in there. I did laundry today, I emptied the dishwasher today. Did all kinds of stuff. Super productive day around here. Yeah. Okay, let's get this diaper on your butt and then I gotta get Liana. Cause I can see the sky is starting to get a little bit darker. The winds are blowing, the dogs need to come inside. And then we're gonna play. Yeah. Then we're just gonna play. All right, you want your stars? You want your stars cover? I just got this out of the laundry too. Mm-hmm. This just came out of the laundry too. Your hammocks got washed. Your diaper covers all got freshly washed. Your towels got washed. Your toys got cleaned. We steam clean things. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, 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 hot bubba. Okay, you ready to go hang out with Hopers while I get Lily? I gotta set this up for one more bath. I got one more bath to go. We'll get Drama Queen in here in a minute. Clean her hands and feet. And uh, Jamie, Jamie, she's had a spot on her tail from allergies. And so uh, Jamie's magic salve, 
it's so funny to watch her. So y'all just wait till I go to put this on, uh, on her and watch how she is with it. It's so funny. So how many times do I bathe? As often as needed, but no, no less than once a week. So, but you know, like this time of year where they're outside a lot more and playing a lot more, uh, you know, they get dirty, they get hot, all that stuff. There you go, Bubba. Um, and so, uh, they definitely get it probably a couple baths a week on average. So usually a couple. Oh, you're going to run. Oh, get it. Winston. <laughs> He's such a character. He is such a character. So, uh, Linda is back with her mama right now. Uh, just with the craziness going on. I mean, we've had people turn us, turn us in saying we had, oh, by the way, if you've ever wanted to see a chimp. And so with all that, she just wanted to make sure she was safe until things kind of quieted down. So what makes them so expensive to care for? Uh, well, on average, 12 to 15 pounds of produce a day. Uh, right now, we're at 10, 12 bottles a day. Uh, monkey biscuits, veterinary care is about 10 times more than a dog or a cat. Uh, that kind of uh, Just general care, a lot more expensive. Uh, not to mention tens of thousands of dollars in things like enclosures. Uh, you know, keeping up with all those it gets really, really costly just to do the basic care. So those are the reasons. Um, no, they sleep inside in the sunroom. So the sunroom addition to the house is the monkey's room. So they stay inside. They're only out here during the day. So we bring them out, let them play during the daytime. And, uh, and then they go back inside in the evening. So like last night, it stayed super warm. And uh, they were having a good time, so I turned lights on out here. They stayed out till about nine o'clock last night, playing, uh, and then came in a little bit later than normal because normally they're asleep by eight or eight thirty. Uh, but uh, they were having a blast yesterday. Judah was here hanging out with them, and so hi, girl. You ready to go get a bath? Are you ready for a bath? I know it's gonna rain. And you can start to see the darker clouds rolling in all and it's it's like literally all the way time and then uh do i breed them no we're not a breeder we're not a licensed breeder we have no intention to be a licensed breeder could they have babies down the road yeah they probably can um not likely that they necessarily will um, but I'm not spaying and neutering or anything like that. You coming? Come on. Y'all come inside too. You guys come inside too. All right, there you go. Go back in your room. Go back in your room. You gonna get some water? Okay. Kane's getting some water. What are you doing? We've almost got a little autumn. Uh, the storms don't scare them at all. Mm -mm. No, they do, they do really well with the storm. Okay, we're gonna wash. We're gonna wash, okay? You're not all muddy today, though. I know you're not all muddy today. You know what's crazy about the, uh, the, the drama and the haters out there? They were online the other day trying to say, after they watched me uh, on here cleaning up Liana's nails and her hands and everything, that she had like broken hands and arms and stuff and I wasn't giving her veterinary care. It's the craziest thing what people will come up with. Um, I did make sure you all clean there, okay? But you didn't dig in the mud today. Probably because it's been so warm, it's not really mud anymore. It's like concrete out there because it's all dried up. Yeah, but I'm gonna make sure these nails are clean before we do the whole bath. Uh-huh, I am. Wanna see this foot? Okay, let me see this foot, okay? Oh, I know. Oh, is that so good? Is that so good? Hmm? Let's warm this water up just a little bit more. Okay. Gonna warm it up just a little bit more. Okay. And then she's got a bug bite right here that she's been picking at. So we'll put some salve on there after we wash. And, uh, oh, dear. You just keep picking at it. You gotta quit picking at it. I don't wanna wrap it. Cause you'll just take the wrap off. All right, let's get down here. Let's wash your butt. Oh yeah, I know drama, drama. I know drama queen. 
Let's get you in here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. That doesn't work. We gotta turn it. It's such a pain in the butt when I'm doing bad. Because I have like a limited area. Oh, hush. None of the drama. Nobody needs the drama. Nobody needs the drama. I know. Come here. Nobody needs all that drama, girl. Nobody needs it. All right, I'm gonna wash your head. This is your second bath in the last few days because you got dirty, dirty the other day. I mean, she got nasty. I went out to get her. She had mud stuck in her fur. She she had been down there. I think she had like tried to just basically take a mud bath while she was out there. Hold still. Hold still, Missy. Let me get you suds up. Let me get your belly. Can I get down here? I gotta get your butt. I gotta get your butt. And then we gotta clean right here real good. That's where you had that dry skin. Yeah. That's where you had all that dry skin from your allergies. Hold on, girl. Oh, I know. You're gonna be drama. I know, but I gotta get it. I gotta get it. You gotta make sure you're clean. I gotta have a clean girl. I can't have you running around like a hot mess, you know? You know? I got it. Thank you, girl. Let me get right here. Get right here. Can you get a shoulder massage while we're at it? Can you get you a shoulder massage? Oh, that feel good. Oh, is that so good? Is that so good? Ooh. Oh, is that so good? Okay, let's rinse off. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let me get your head real quick. Let's start up here so we rinse it backwards. Go all the way down, okay? Okay? Let me get it. There we go. Oh, so good, girl. so good, girl. That's so good, girl. Guys, y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for being in here and hanging out. There's 3,200 people. Tap that screen like crazy, guys. Tap, tap, tap away. You guys are absolutely amazing. Tap that screen. Make it happen. We're at 70,000 likes in just the last half hour. Uh, let's let's drive it past 100,000 in no time flat. So all you got to do is take your fingers, double tap that screen. You go to the bottom of the screen right down there. There's an arrow at the bottom of the screen or a button that says more. Hit that. Copy the link. Share it out with friends right here on TikTok. Send it out through Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I don't care where you send it out. Put it in an annoying family group text and give people a smile. Send it to a friend. Send it to somebody who needs a little encouragement. They can come in and hang out with the monk monks today. But you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being in here and hanging out with us uh, on this Sunday Monkey Fun Day. Doing baths and all the good things with the monks. Hold on, we got drip. I got to drip you dry a little bit. I know I got to drip you dry a little bit. So what's hanging down, that would be called a pseudo-penis. It is a vulva. It is a female reproductive bits and pieces uh, that belongs to the spider monkeys. They have a little bit of a disconcerting anatomy uh, because the females are external and the males are internal. So the males have an inverted penis. Uh, so there's your anatomy lesson for the day. So, oh girl, we'll get you. Oh, look. Do I need to get you a hood to wear? You gonna do your emperor? Cause I, I would call you like ET or something, but your personality is more like the, more like the emperor from Star Wars. And your look would be like that with those dark eyes. Yeah, it would be. But you just a mess. You just a mess, you know that? Let me get this arm. Let me get this arm. Ooh, ooh, no, no shakes. Ooh, no, no shakes. Ooh, no, no shakes. Mm -hmm.
Okay, let's put your diaper on. Okay. Let's get your diaper on. Will she attack and bite? Sure. Absolutely. Monkeys bite. It is a nonverbal form of communication. Let's say that she had a sore down here that I didn't know about, and that's why she was making that noise, and I kept pestering her and not paying attention to her cues. She could put me in the hospital very, very, very quickly. Um, so the other day when we were on live, she punctured my hand right here. Uh, so just playing. I mean, their strength is like crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but yes, they are, she is full of drama. Oh, that was inside out. I got to get it on right. I got to get it on right, girl. Ooh, ooh. Get your pretty pink diaper on you, but I got to get your pretty pink diaper. Ooh, ooh, drama. And then we got to put J Aunt Jamie's magic salve on. Yeah. Got to put J Aunt Jamie's magic salve on you, but Okay, so right in here, she had some dry skin. You can kind of see where it looks a little drier right there. Uh, so Aunt Jamie over Jamie's, Jamie Fuller and the Fuller's Monkey Bunch, uh, she's got a great CBD salve uh, that we, we use for just about everything. It kind of reminds me, I use it like um, my Big Fat Greek Wedding. Like, I like a Windex on it. Like, that's kind of the way I view it. But, man, I'm telling you, it does such a great job of uh, healing up little spots and calming down irritation. So uh, we've been putting it on these little spots. Well, she keeps picking at this bug bite right here. Uh, so she's got this one this week. Last week she had one on the other leg. Um, and so she'll get, get a little bug bite and then she picks at it. This one's healed uh, right here, but I still been putting it on there. She's, she's so funny. Oh, is that good? That's that good? Look at her. Is that good? Am I get the love language for these guys. So uh, it's a really cool deal. Let's see. She's got some calluses in her hands. So I've been putting a little bit in there. It's been helping a little bit with her calluses too. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? Hmm? Can I see this one? Got one little spot over here, okay? Just a little dab right there. Just a little dab. Can we moisturize your hands real good? Hmm? Can we moisturize your hands real good? Does that feel better? Huh? Is that better? Is it good? Huh? Is it? You ready to go out and play? Okay. All right, let's go. We're gonna put this towel away. See? Not a lot, because y'all beat me out of house and home today. They're like right at 14 pounds of fruits and veggies today. So made them a snack, some dried apricots, dates, uh, and some nuts and things like that as an afternoon snack. Um, and then they'll get, all of them will get another bottle tonight. Come on, I'm just putting that in there for you, okay? All right, ready? Man, hold on. There you go, Lily. Go do your thing. Go do your thing. So this is their space. Excuse me, I have to tell the dog to stop trying to get out of here. Back up. Back up. There's nothing in here for you. There's nothing in here for you. You're fine. There we go. Probably need to block the door. Because Liana will just totally... Um, it is full-time, 24-7. Yes, Alexa. And it is very expensive. Very expensive. So it takes a lot to do all of this. So, uh, Linda's doing great. She's back with her mom just temporarily uh, until the dust settles from the crazy drama stuff that's been going on. And so we just, just her mom felt safer uh, with everything because the monkey community is not big. She saw it. And uh, so she's back over there, but she'll be back soon. But um, we got some great stuff. Look, guys, I'm telling you, my timing is good. I don't know if y'all can see in that focus. Ooh, see how dark the sky is getting back there? Storms are coming, and they're coming quick. So we got crazy, crazy storms coming. So come here, Wayne. Hold face. Come here, hold face. They're all eating their snacks right now. Winston, is it so good, Bubba? Is it so good? Is that apricot so good? Huh? Is it so good? Hold face. Is it good, girl? You got an almond and an apricot. 
And then later he's right there. What am I doing, Louise? Where you going, Bubba? Where you going, Bubba? You checking everything out? So how many total? There are three spider monkeys. Three spider monkeys. So you have four marmosets and two tamarins. I love it. I love it. I love it. You're in Tennessee. So am I. Yeah, it's it's about to get it's about to get crazy rough uh, around here. So I'm sure we're gonna get some craziness from storms and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it'll be it'll be a crazy afternoon, but whatever. We're we're in for it. Got these guys inside, and uh, hopefully it rains really hard because it'll save me uh, having to pressure wash outside again and hopefully kind of wash everything out. Thank you for the TikTok app, Brenda. Thank you so much, guys. There's 3,800 people in here. Tap that screen like crazy. Hit the share button so you don't take your finger. You're going to double tap just like this. You're going to go down there to the bottom of the screen. There's a more button, an arrow button, whatever it looks like on your iOS or Android. Thank you. Yeehaw! Uh, and you're going to share it out with 10 or 15 of your friends right here on TikTok. Go share it in a text message or a Facebook message or Instagram, anywhere you want to. Twitter, Snapchat, the whole nine. Put it in the annoying family group text and tell somebody, come hang out because we're hanging out with the monkeys this afternoon. So... What are you doing up there, Bubba? Come here, Winston. You are so into your little snack over here. You are so into your snack, huh? Are you so into your snack? Thank you for the heart. You guys are awesome. So what part of Tennessee? We're in Nashville. So where do I put them during the storms? Right here. This is their room. This is their space. So this, this sunroom addition to the house belongs 100% to these guys. And so they hang out in here when they're not outside in their outdoor enclosure. So uh, what are you doing down there, huh? What you doing down there, Bubba? Ooh, big lightning. I saw big lightning right there. So big old storms are coming. Thank you for the hand heart, Monkey Token. My Monkey Token family is in here, guys. Uh, if you want to check out MonkeyToken.io, it's an incredible project uh, that we're, we're able to partner with and work with. We love those guys. They've got an incredible team who's built an amazing product. Uh, I say product, but just a utility around serving and giving. Sue, thank you for the fireworks. So amazing. Wildcat, thank you for your heart. Um, and so it's a great opportunity to invest uh, in uh, building some wealth for the future, but also uh, for helping with the work that we're doing down the road. They are partnered with us to help build out uh, the big first official Spartan property and retreat center. Uh, partner with our DBA, which is Idaho Foundation, focused on mental health and uh, serving people, not just the animals, but people as well. So uh, absolutely love it. So, uh, yep, there's there. Yeah, y'all, as a matter of fact, if I'm seeing storms out this side of my house and you're in Somerville, yes, come in your direction. Come in your direction for sure. So, no, the storms don't seem to scare them. They never really have. Oh, hi, Hooker. Where's my sweet girl? Oh, my sweet girl. What does the outside look like? Like this, but 12 feet tall. They have a very similar enclosure outside with the perimeter fence. I'll kind of walk up here and show you. Uh, let you guys see out there uh, if you haven't seen it before. So this is their outdoor enclosure uh, right here. So this is their space out there. You can see the perimeter fence goes all the way around it to keep them safe goes up 12 feet outside and uh, absolutely you can hear the thunder there it is what do you think girl oh okay come here what do you think girl guys thank you all for being in here with 4,000 people in here look at this we just bumped in 10 minutes from 70,000 to two, almost 200,000 likes so double tap that screen guys you're making a huge difference in uh, more people seeing this on the FYP page more people being able to come and hang out so thank you so much. Thank you for the gifts, the emotes, the things that you're giving. No obligation to give. If you do, that's amazing. Thank you so much, but it's certainly not expected. Uh, we're just excited to come in and get to hang out with you guys. Uh, Linda is back home with her mama uh, just because we've had I – I was explaining this earlier. I'm not going to, like, repeat this too many times uh, just because I want to stay on the positivity. But we've had uh, some critics that started, like, calling in false reports on us having a chimpanzee hidden in our garage. Uh, they called in reports that Liana's arms were broken and she wasn't getting care, uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, 
her mom had just took her home temporarily, let the dust settle, and then she'll bring her back here. But she's doing really good. We got her set up with a new enclosure up there, uh, more appropriate for her. So it, she's she's just got what she needs in that setting for the time being. Uh, so I'm really, really thankful. Uh, so she sends me videos every day. Just let me know how she's doing. So she's doing absolutely amazing and uh, absolutely incredible. So there is an Amazon wish list. There's a lot of stuff in the links in our profiles. If you click the link in our profile, you can learn about Monkey Token that I was talking about earlier. You can learn about Spartan, our 501c3, the work that we do in rescuing and caring for monkeys, and then providing. One of the things that we do also at Spartan uh, that I probably don't talk about enough is our support where we take those donations that come in with the 501c3, share them out with other folks who are doing amazing work, like our partner, Christina, who's in Ecuador, uh, sharing with her with the animal rescue that she does there and taking care of needs, surgeries, different things like that, that her, the animals that she cares for, what they need, and then just other monkey families and owners across the country uh, helping with veterinary care and things like that. So we've been able to do that. And then sometimes, guys, one of the things that I love to do, uh, we've been able to do right here through, through our community on TikTok, is uh, when folks who are part of our amazing community right here have a need and they express that need, we want to give back. So uh, we do that like crazy. So uh, are these three minor rescues? The answer to your question is rescue, rehome, and yes, they are mine. They live in my home. Uh, so uh, we work in that. We are a USDA uh, certified facility here as well. Where do they sleep? Right here. These are their hammocks. These are freshly laundered. Smells so good. They're so clean. Uh, so they sleep in these hammocks at night. They all pile into one, but I give them two hammocks. Uh, so if they need space, that kind of stuff. So um, my landlord ducks. Now, I have a unique relationship with my landlord. We wrote it into the lease. It's really important. The average residential lease is voided by having exotic animals. So it's not a good idea. I've, I've been saying this forever and ever and ever. It's not good uh, to own an exotic animal, specifically monkeys, uh, if you don't own your home. So... Uh, super, super important that you make sure you check all those things. Like if you were considering a monkey, things that you got to consider, do you have 30, 40, 50 years to dedicate to it? You've only got about vacations, date nights, social life, because everything revolves around these guys. You never, ever have just one. They need to be in pairs at least. It's better if they're in larger groups because they are social animals. They're troop animals, so they need each other. The average monkey will cost you between 10 and 15,000 a year on average if they're healthy to properly care for. So mind you, a monkey could cost you anywhere from 10 to $20,000 to purchase or more. Uh, it will cost you that every year for the rest of their lives to take care of them. So it's really important. You also have to figure out that like there's only, only 19 states that still allow monkey ownership in the United States alone. Canada, the UK, places like that, they're completely illegal. It's only a matter of time here in the United States before they become illegal. So you need to make sure that you're legal. The way you do that is not Google. Google is never gonna give you the appropriate information. You're gonna wanna make sure that you go and call Fish and Wildlife for your state. It's really, really important that you work with them first. Then you're gonna call County Animal Control in the county that you live. Then you're gonna talk to your city, find out what your city ordinance is. Just because it's legal in your state does not mean that it is legal in your county. Just because it is legal in your county does not mean that it is legal in your city. And then if you have an HOA, uh, if you are not the owner of your home, all of these things come into play and create really bad legal issues for you. But beyond that, if the animals are illegal, they can and will be confiscated. And nine out of 10 times they euthanize the animal if it's not an appropriate place for them to go. So super, super important that you follow the laws. You do not play with that, uh, especially in the next few years. They're cracking down. One of the things I can tell you uh, USDA, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, state, uh, state enforcement agencies, they monitor things like right here on TikTok. They watch our videos all the time. They watch my videos and they geotag. They watch where you're going for live from. They watch where your information's coming from. They monitor the care of your animals. They pay attention to everything. And so they're cracking down. So a lot of people get them because they think, holy crap, uh, you know, I could get famous or I could get popular on social media. If I have a monkey, I'll get all these views or whatever. Or I'll have a cool pet. And then they don't realize the liability that comes into play. And really, they just end up putting the monkey's lives at risk. So these are all things that are super important, guys. When you choose to do anything with these guys, you become a steward. These are just like having children. And, uh, and in fact, I say it all the time. It's not a great correlation, but it really does speak to the needs. It is like raising a special needs child for the next three, four, five decades uh, because of the type of care that they need and the cost that is involved. So it's really, really important. Uh, that you understand all of those things that come into play. So if you get, ooh, he's gonna jump. I told you, you're playful today. You got all kinds of energy. Yes, you do, Mr. Winston. Yes, you do, Mr. Winston. 
I love you, Bubbles. I do. I love you, Bubba. So Spartan, I saw somebody asking about Spartan. We started Spartan uh, specifically to support other sanctuaries. Uh, so we came along. I started Spartan right at the time that I was leaving a career behind in uh, consulting and business development and venture capital uh, and wanted to help with that. So we wanted to come alongside. It started with a, a project, a failed project, mind you, uh, in California called Wildlife Way Station. Uh, got into craziness there, and it just kind of grew from that place. But we've been able to support both successful and non-successful projects over the years. I can't say that we got like this 100% success rate, but uh, our goal early on was to develop Spartan to support others with the ultimate goal in five to 10 years to build out our own sanctuary and property with a unique bent. One of the things that we do with our, our board of advisors and with our uh, overseers who sit on the outside, some great zoologists and uh, veterinarians, some psychologists, that kind of stuff. So we wanna develop a new standard for husbandry for primates because a lot of primates that come into the zoological system these days, they've been humanized. They've been domesticated in some form or another. And they have a different type of husbandry than is stated by the American Zoological Association, the Zoological Association of America. And so the handbook guide that guides the type of care that these guys need is not really fit for the type of developmental um, realities that come with an animal that's been cared for in this kind of manner. So we want to develop a new standard for that. We also want to build an incredible volunteer system, allow people uh, to continue to experience things, even though the U.S. government is starting to change a lot of laws, they're restricting a lot of things when it comes to this. I want to protect the opportunity for generations to come, for people to continue to interact, to be able to love on these guys, to learn from these guys. That's one of the biggest things. And to remember that once these guys are in captivity, they can't go back to the wild. 86% of primates who are released back into the wild in any release program die within 90 days from predators, they succumb to bacterial viral infections food instability all sorts of things because the truth animals they need a lot of things uh, that, that don't provide for it not to mention that the endangered species act and the animal welfare act that started in 1973 here in the united states makes it a felony for you to even export these animals to take them back to where they came from so it's a really really big deal to understand all of the complexities that come into play with these guys and so and as you can see they are very much uh, dependent on their interactions uh, their enrichment, their relationships. And so uh, it's a big deal. And so we're working really hard. It's a long goal. Uh, we've made tiny baby steps, nothing major, uh, tiny baby steps along the way. We've gotten to be a part of some pretty cool and amazing big stories along the way. Uh, and again, some are big, some are small, some work, some fail. Uh, but the reality is, is that we, we've been stepping in a lot of times to uh, you know, sanctuaries or projects that are in distress in great need who have great problems because I believe in trying to help as many people and anybody that I can regardless of their story or their past. Um, and so we want to be able to do How many babies do I have? There are three spider monkeys here. That's me. Three spider monkeys. So, hey, come here, women. Get off the Alexa. Alexa. Play 80s pop. Girl, don't you swipe me out of there. Keep your feet off of my phone, girl. Keep your feet off my phone, girl. <laughs> You're such a sweet girl. You wanna show them how cute you are? Say, look guys, I'm so cute. Say, look guys, I'm so cute. So Hope here is a year old, so you can see her size. Liana here is three years old. And she is a little over halfway grown. She'll double, she'll roughly double in size by the time she's an adult. They reach adulthood between six and seven years of age. Winston, you're the reason that my shit doesn't work. He's up here like just swiping through everything, playing with the screen. Stop, okay? I gotta reset the Alexa because you sent, he's, so he's, he's got this thing where he always does it and he sends the music to play on another Alexa unit in the house. So what happened to whose eye? Nobody's eyes hurt. Maybe it's a freckle or something. I mean, sometimes they'll get little bruises or things on their eye from playing. Uh, there's no telling. It could be a shadow. There's there's no telling. Look at look how beautiful my hair is today. Hat head. Gotta love hat head. Winston is two years old. Winston is two. He just turned two uh, just a couple of weeks ago. So ooh, the wind is kicking up. Winston, can you say I'm two years old? Two, two years old. You thirsty much, huh? Are you thirsty much? Are you thirsty much, huh? Ooh. So, Lily, yes, this is Liana right here. Come here, girl. 
Come here. No, come here. Come here. Oh, he's at your little girl. Mwah. Oh. Oh. All those no-no shakes. Winston's getting your tail. <laughs> you guys. Did they grow any bigger? Yes. They will double in size from this. They will be not as roughly 17 pounds, but maybe between 30 and 35 pounds. Lynn Shin, thank you for crushing the goal. You are amazing. Uh, so yeah, between 30 and 40 pounds when they're full grown, they reach four to six feet tall when they stand straight up. They have a seven foot, literally a seven foot arm span. Uh, and that tail will reach seven or six feet, six to seven feet long, six to, on average. Uh, they are the largest of the new world monkeys. New world monkeys, meaning monkeys that come from Central and South America. Uh, so uh, they are beasts when they are full grown. These are all still juveniles. Liana, stop. Now, I just reset that. When I, I, girl, I'm going to get you. Alexa, play 80s pop. Let's see here, guys. We're going to set another goal. There's another goal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Lily. You're not supposed to show your butt to everybody, girl. You're supposed to turn around and say, oh, look at me. I'm a pretty girl. Say, I'm a pretty girl. Oh. Oh, you're just a pretty girl. Woo. Let me flip your lip. Let me flip your lip. You want to show them? Want to show them how big your teeth are? Say, them big old teeth. And these are still just a baby set of teeth. Say, I still got another set or two of teeth to go before I get my adults. They'll be even bigger. Hey, Lee, they're crushing goals so fast we can't keep up. We can't even keep up. They're 50% of the way. Did they ever bite? Yes, all the time. The other day when we were on live, Liana was just wrestling and playing, put a hole right in my hand. They definitely do. Say, I've had to have a tendon repair. I've had my toenail or, or thumbnail ripped out by this one. We've had stitches, haven't we? Mwah. Say, biting is a nonverbal communication strategy of these guys, so. Mwah. Do they lose their teeth? They go through three to four sets of teeth by the time they reach adulthood. So they go through a lot of teeth, a lot of teeth. Uh, so don't you touch that. Oh yeah, girl. Oh yeah, no, no shake, no, no shake. Winston, get her, Winston. Get her, Winston, get her. <laughs> oh my Lord, you guys. They're going crazy, get ready. Y'all crushed another goal so fast, I can't keep up. All right, Lily. Lily, girl, let's get in here. Let's do another goal. Let's do one of our favorites, huh? You want to do one of our favorites? Let's do some corn. Let's do some corn, huh? All right, there we go. Corn is set. Y'all see him zooming around me? Y'all see him zooming around? What's up, UK in the house? Where were they rescued from? Well, uh, each one different. Liana was not a rescue. She was a rehome. Uh, from a fr uh, uh, an acquaintance, I shouldn't say a friend, but an acquaintance of mine who had a sanctuary that had to close down. Uh, so she came here. Uh, Winston came from an illegal broker who was getting busted by U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and we were willing to take on all of the animals he had at the time, which was a lot. Winston was part of that mix, and uh, he was supposed to be temporary, and uh, we fell in love, kept him around. And then Hope has a very similar story. Uh, Hope was having been uh, but thanks to the generosity of some amazing people who I love very much, uh, they covered the cost of taking care of getting her out of the situation she was in so she could be here. Uh, so she was an unexpected add to the troop. So, uh, and as you guys have seen, uh, I, you know, it's like I get to see Silver this week. I'm super excited. They're going to be, Margaret's going to be here. Silver's going to come hang out and visit uh, along with Jamie and the baby. So we're going to get to hang out with our favorite monkey people this week. And I'm excited about all of that. So, We've got some great meetings and moments coming up this week. Uh, we're filming with a documentary film crew who's working on a new series for um, one of the major streaming networks. Uh, so I'm excited about that and working with them this week. Uh, we've got Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency uh, director coming over to hang out this week. We're going to be talking through some grandfathering regulations and me uh, getting a chance to help make a difference in uh, what the regulations are going to be going forward here in the state of Tennessee, uh, protecting the rights of owners right here. Uh, and then I agreed, <laughs> crazy as I am, because uh, I apparently am that. 
uh, I agreed over the weekend uh, to step in for a little while because of some of the, the legal stuff that's happening uh, for Joe Exotic, uh, who you guys know. You know what, let's do this. Let's do June. We like, it's June. Uh, let's put up the June emote. There we go. There it goes, there it goes. I haven't even seen that one. There's so many new emotes in here I haven't seen. Um, so uh, there, there it is. Um, but I agreed to step in and basically serve